Hello everyone and welcome to another tutorial. I have had a couple of questions and requests about the different ways to hold and flip your scissors. I have created this tutorial to teach you how to flip your scissors and how to hold your scissors in different grips that will not only help you cut better, could also help to avoid a repetitive strain injury. The way we use our tools in front of our clients showcases our professionalism and our technical experience. When using our tools, we need to be mindful of our client's experience. When sitting in the chair, we all feel more comfortable with a skilled stylist that approaches everything with the highest level of skill, precision and professionalism. Press pause and go grab your scissors and practice the steps throughout this tutorial. You may need to repeat the tutorial a few times, but I'm sure you will be set to go in no time. How to use your scissors. By only moving your top blade with your thumb whilst keeping your bottom blade stationary. Using your scissors this way will give you a cleaner cutting action. The best way to practice is to rest your bottom blade on your finger or a firm surface whilst only moving the top blade with your thumb. How to flip my scissors. I simply remove my little finger, allowing the scissor to fall, gripping your scissors with your ring finger. Once the scissor has dropped, I use my small finger to reach for the finger rest on my scissor, moving my scissor up for my thumb to return the scissor to its cutting position. To flip the scissor back, you simply remove your thumb. Once the scissor has dropped, you place your small finger into the finger insert, pulling your small finger back towards the palm of your hand. Moving on to flipping your scissors upside down, also called the Eastern Grip. This grip helps us to work with comfort to avoid twisting your wrists and body when cutting hair. This approach to cutting will help you to cut with more precision, more effortlessly. How to hold your scissors in the Eastern Grip. Take your thumb out, pulling the scissor upside down, then we replace our thumb, keeping our hand straight. Your middle finger now grips your scissor. Holding your scissors in the eastern grip allows you to work at eye level with your line without having to bend your wrist into uncomfortable positions. I use the eastern grip to remove the strain on my wrist, shoulders and elbow when cutting. This position also allows you to work vertically without elevating your elbow. When cutting a square layer with an eastern grip, it helps us to cut a square line, whilst allowing your elbow to drop comfortably next to your body, avoiding unnecessary discomfort from constantly elevating your shoulder. The eastern grip helps your body position to remain square to your line, Cutting with even balanced shoulders and elbows instead of being unbalanced with one shoulder up and one shoulder down and with no strain on our wrists. Utilizing the Eastern Grip will help you to work more efficiently and work with more comfort. Long term this technique could save your shoulder and wrist from a repetitive strain injury. If you have problems learning, feel free to comment below or direct message my Instagram at hair by James Annabelle. The more you practice flipping your scissors, the more fluent you will become. Whilst watching YouTube or Netflix, pull out your scissors and practice until you master it. If you like this tutorial, please share this with your workmates or classmates. I would really appreciate it. And if you start to implement any of these techniques, be sure to let me know in the comments below. I'd love to know how you go.